native camp teachers. Our native camp portal is under attack. So if you guys are members of the native camp worldwide or native camp for teachers group, you're basically aware that as um, since Friday, we've been having on and off issues with the native camp portal. Many teachers cannot log in. Many teachers can't can't access the mobile application. Many teachers can't teach or in the middle of your class, all of a sudden, you know, the, the, the class will just top or the portal will just mess up basically affecting our salary, our livelihood, our jobs, and I know many of us are panicking right now. But you know what? Um, I've actually figured out a workaround and hopefully this video would be able to help you. Number one, be able to access the native camp portal and be able to teach, be able to work. And number two, I also want to be able to help you um, remove the unnecessary penalties that we got because many of us weren't able to teach for the past few days. So if you're interested, please continue watching. First, let's talk about the workaround or the solution, the temporary fix for the problem. Well, based on my research and based on my experience, one of the most effective workarounds if you are from the Philippines and if you are a globe user is to switch your internet provider. So on my past videos, I've been talking about backup, right? So you can use a mobile hotspot, let's say using your smartphone. You could use a Wi-Fi stick. Um, you could also use a prepaid home Wi-Fi and make sure that you switch your internet provider to either Smart PLDT or Dito. Make sure that it's not Globe because for some reason, when I'm using Globe, I cannot access the native camp portal using my smartphone or using using my laptop or my main device for teaching. My point here is if you're a Globe user, it's impossible for you to connect to the native camp portal for now. So an effective workaround is to use your backup internet, maybe your smartphone, your pocket Wi-Fi, your Wi-Fi stick, or your prepaid Wi-Fi so that you'd be able to change your, your server, your internet provider, and you'd be able to enter the website. Because a DDoS attack is basically a bunch of computers attacking the native camp website which prevents you know people like us people like us who are working from accessing the internet so basically it disrupts the native camp firewall or something like that and that's what's been happening ever since like Friday last week so teachers Again, if you're a Globe user, forget about Globe for now. There, um, You can subscribe, let's say, to Smart. I'm, I'm using Smart PLDT right now, and I'm just paying 50 pesos per day for one gig of, of internet usage, and it has been stable so far, and uh, this is highly recommended. Workaround number two, if you have VPN connection available, switch to VPN and use that to access your native cam portal. Well, VPN is a virtual private network. Basically, you download a third party software and most of the time it's not for free. You have to pay for it. And what you do is you get to customize your location, your server and so on so that you could access um, a particular website. Sorry, I'm not techie. But the point is, if you're the techie kind of person, and you have VPN at home, you have VPN available on your device, then use that to access the native camp portal. Many teachers have said that there are free VPN available for Windows, but I'm not sure if there's one available for Mac because when I tried, there's like a subscription fee that I have to pay every month. So once again, this is another workaround. Regardless of where you are all over the world, um, the VPN seems to be effective. Regardless if you're a Filipino teacher, South African teacher, if you're from Canada or other countries, maybe you could also explore using VPN so that you'd be able to access the native camp portal with stability and be able to teach. And finally, for you guys to be able to request for the unnecessary penalties to be removed from your, your payments, uh, all you got to do is, of course, step one is to secure a screenshot that contains the date, the time, your speed test results, and whatever you see on the native cam portal. Usually, it's like an error 503 or something. So this is an example of an effective screenshot that contains everything. If you would like to do screen record, uh, you could also do that as well. 
And uh, what I do here, um, I'll be sharing with you in a bit. But the point is, you got to do this per class. If you have a class at 4 o'clock, then 4.30, 5 p.m., 5.30, every class must have a screenshot to really prove that you are unable to access the website reg um, despite, you know, exhausting all possible ways to be able to do so. So teachers, for you to be able to request for the penalties to be removed, all you have to do is simply go to the inquiry tab. The inquiry tab is basically located at almost at the bottom part of the Native Camp portal. And then you're going to be seeing here uh, this URL, request for cancellation removal. All you have to do is simply click that and it's going to be taking you to a page that looks like this. Uh, you have to make sure that your the account that it's logged in here is your your native camp email address which for me is ask teacher Karen at gmail.com and then you just have to simply put your your email address here so uh, let's say I'm gonna put ask teacher Karen at gmail.com or whatever your email address is then whatever your your ideas um, you, it's usually like a six, uh, six digit number, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you can find it uh, once again on the Native Camp portal. It's located on the top left corner. You just have to simply scroll up and you're going to see the, the, your, your teacher number there. And then your teacher name, whatever your teacher name is. What is the lesson ID that you want to remove the cancellation? So for the lesson ID, you could get that from the... the, the the reservation tab you could go to reservation history and even though you did not conduct the class you'd be able to see the lesson id here as you can see this is the class with the penalty and this is the lesson id that applies to it i'll just copy and paste that one i'm going to put it here and uh, basically move to the next step so let's say i'll let's put some pretend numbers okay now uh, was there a problem with the connection at the time? Yes. Or you could also click other if you wish. And then do you have proof? Yes, I do have proof. And where can you put your proof teachers? You can just put it, let's say, on, on a Google folder, a uh, Google Drive folder. What I did was I made a folder um, for the date when I had an issue with Native Camp, Native Camp January 14. And this one's very important. Whenever you click on get link, you click on get link and you have to make sure that you, the, the viewer would be would not be restricted because by default it's restricted. You have to change it to anyone with the link. And then you just copy this link and that's what you will be pasting on your on your proof here uh, for the next step. There you go. And then uh, you just have to simply answer the last question. Okay, this is noted, then submit it. That's just how easy it is to request for a cancellation removal. And uh, the screenshot that I, that I uploaded here would be, it's numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that when they're gonna sort it, it's gonna be very easy. As you can see, it contains the date and the time of the class, January 14, 4 p.m., 4.30 p.m., 5 p.m., 5.30 p.m., and so on. And uh, <laughs> hopefully the, the request would be removed as well. And uh, one more thing that I'd like to add, uh, just for everyone to be, you know, informed if there are any like updates on Native Camp, it's important that you are a part of these Facebook groups. The first one would be Native Camp Worldwide. Uh, basically, um, you'll get more updates <laughs> that, hey, you're not alone. I still can access this site, hoo hoo hoo, or uh, you're also going to see like a bunch of posts here uh, about the same problem the website has gone down blah 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 and then you, you should also if you're a filipino you should also join uh this group native camp philippines uh here it's not english only policy so if you join native camp philippines then you know you could post in the vernacular in our language and you're also going to see people posting the same thing that there are problems let's say uh blah, 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 sapuri teacher blah, blah blah there you go still down i think this was me 
uh, the website is still down. And then the last one would be Native Camp for Teachers. This is not a group, but a Facebook page. Uh, it's the official Facebook page for Native Camp Teachers. And I suggest that you join this as well because this is where we got the announcement that there is a DDoS attack on the website, which basically messes up our jobs <laughs> and prevents us from accessing the website. This was posted on the 12th of January. So all important announcements are here, so I highly recommend that you join as well. There you have it, teachers. I hope that this video has given you hope that there is indeed a hope that we'd be able to work and get back to our usual lives as a teacher. <laughs> so um, rest assured that Native Camp is in the process of fixing the problem for good. And to everyone whom I've referred to this company and to Native Camp teachers out there, don't lose hope. You know, um, I am still madly in love with Native Camp. You know, of course, I'm a bit upset right now because of what's happening, but I know that this is a reliable company and I have asked many, many teachers and they said that this is the first time that this has ever happened to the Native Camp portal. So let's give them a chance to make it up to us, right? So as long as you follow the due process, uh, request for your penalties to be removed and do your best to be able to find a workaround, I'm sure we're gonna be in good hands and sooner or later, this problem will be resolved. I hope you like this video. If you find this helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Teacher Karen. Comment below if you have any questions or concerns and uh, hit the bell icon to get notified for more video uploads. Be a blessing to the people around you. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.